Welcome back to my humble carving shed. It is a chilly 21 degrees outside and about 26 inside. Um, but we're gonna make this work. As you saw in the thumbnail of the video, we are doing a uh, kind of combination, a carving and then a pendant. The idea is rather simple. We're just gonna cut out a design, use that to make a pendant for like a, a necklace, and then incorporate the cutout area into the skull carving. Now this is actually really cool for like a spouse or significant other. Um, you can carve up the skull, it's gonna look great. And then you can take that pendant and give it to them, you know, sweeten them up a little bit in case they don't, aren't too super thrilled with all your skulls hanging on the wall. You get the idea. So without any further ado, let's jump into carving this thing. Before we start actually cutting, I'm gonna show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using one of these dentist style burrs. This is a $6.99, it's from Profitable Hobbies. I'll leave the description in the video. You can also use the square cross cut burrs. I talked about these three videos ago. This will cut well, as well as a diamond dust burr. Those can work great too. The point is you wanna get something, a burr that's really small that's not gonna take out a lot of material because you're wanting the part that you cut out to be have nice lines as well as the cutout area, the negative space in the skull. So the smaller the lines, the more detail you're gonna leave to work with uh, in that cutout part of the skull. Okay, this is the moment of truth. It's like a puzzle piece. So that actually turned out better than I expected it to, which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna put this aside though for now. We will come back to the pendant later. But for right now, I'm going to add the rest of my design to the skull and then we'll carve that out. But I have a pounding headache, so I need some coffee first. The area that we cut out just by itself looks kind of plain, all right? And we're gonna fix that and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So just like it is now, like like this, you can see I already drew a border around the, the little anchor here that we have cut out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut down the area all around uh, the anchor and leave just a small border, like a little lip. There we go. Um, around the entire anchor and that's gonna bring that out give it a little more character, a little bit of depth, and uh, make it pop. And then around all of that, I'm, I'm gonna do some stippling. We'll get to that. But before I do all that, we have to file down the anchor so we know exactly what we're working with to put that border around.
Okay, now for the border. Okay, so I finished carving the skull. I put the stippling in the middle there around the anchor like I said I was going to. And then I added a quote from Franklin Roosevelt, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. I can definitely associate with that. And then I whipped up a plaque out of some oak and I made it black. That's just a, a, wood, a black wood stain. And the reason for that is so that the carved area, when you're looking at the skull on the wall, um, has some contrast in the back background and that'll make that carved out area stand out. So we're gonna move on to the pendant. Um, one thing to keep in mind, this is uh, unlike beef bone, which people normally use for pendants. Um, this has a inner layer, which is kind of spongy. So I am not going to remove a ton of material. Basically what I'm gonna do is just smooth down uh, some of the edges, round it off a little bit, obviously cut out a hole for our necklace and call that Good. exactly finished the skull just because I kind of jumped the gun and I had cleaned the skull but I did not degrease it yet and I want to stain this with a walnut stain which is going to make it kind of a darker brown but I can't do that until I uh, degrease it first so I can't finish it for this video but if you follow me on my Instagram you will definitely be able to see the finished product it'll be something similar to this and of course our pendant uh, which I think turned out really cool. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're cutting out the area, keep in mind the sutures and the places where the skull connects. That's going to make the strength of the pendant a little bit less. I had to add some super glue in here because there is uh, the sutures, the connection there. Yeah, you, I mean, you can do this with all different kinds of stuff. I thought of a um, arrowhead that would look awesome. Um, a cross would look really cool maybe a state, like the outline of a state, whichever state you're from. The possibilities are quite endless. You do want to keep the design somewhat simple. But yeah, uh, don't take my word for it, guys. You can try this yourself with your own skull and maybe gift a little pendant to your significant other. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe if you like the video and if you would like to learn more in my next one. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out in my shed with me. Uh, I hope you had as much fun watching as I did making this thing. And I want to say thank you to a few people who left comments on some of my videos. Wolf Force, Justin Sylvester, Nocturn, uh, uh, I can't say that, Nocturns for Sandman, you know who you are, and Darren Wheeler. Thanks guys for chatting with me. And then a special thank you to Joe who left a review on my Facebook page. He said, very nice work on all your skulls, especially the alligator scales carved on the deer skull on YouTube. If you haven't seen that video, uh, you can check that out among other videos too. Of course, you know that already. But anyhow, thanks for sticking around. I really do appreciate your time. And uh, I'll see you all next time.